Hello pretty geeks and welcome to this week's stuff that nobody taught me. I come to you barefaced yet again this week because we are covering something that involves the bathtub. That's right, this week we're covering shaving your legs, which can be kind of moving around shaving for shaving, but you know. But, but, I'd like to preface this by saying, if you are a girl, you do not have to shave your legs. You don't. You don't. If you don't feel like it's right for you or it's not the right time for you, wait. Put it off. Become a jungle woman. Do it. It's fine. In the whole scheme of things, it's fine. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. Two. If you are a boy and you want to shave your legs, go ahead. Some guys do. Some guys don't. It doesn't matter. It's about you and how you feel about it. I know personally, I got teased a lot for being real fuzzy because my body hair is really dark, like we're literally dark. And I got teased a lot for that because I'm really not dark. So it's a stark contrast. But you know what? I didn't like it. I've never liked it. Though every now and again, I'll do it because you know, it's summertime, ooh, your legs are out. I don't care. Every now and again, I do it because I do like the smooth feeling. I'm like, hey, so smooth. But other times, I don't because I don't care. And it's okay to not care. It's okay to just not want to. And yeah, I want to throw that up there. Righty Ruda. So to get started, we're going to use the over the tub method where you can fill a little bit of the bathtub or use it after or you get out of the tub and wet your legs and start exfoliating. Here I'm using what's called a snarky bar. It has all the exfoliation stuff right inside of it. And I just like it if I'm just doing my legs, especially if I'm just doing below the knee because it doesn't matter quite as much. Um, that's about it. Or you can use a regular exfoliation, which is like a sand type. This one is a pumpkin one. It smells kind of like pumpkin spice, which I hate drinking, but I love the smell of. And it's the kind that you will see most of the time. I like this one better if I'm shaving in the tub or if I just want to exfoliate all over. After you've exfoliated and rinsed, we're going to go through a few different types of cream, soaps, lotions, otherwise, that you can use for shaving. To start, we'll be using a regular body wash. This one is Gender Bender, and it suds up a little bit. Basically, just make sure that all of the oils are out of the surface and you're not going to be spreading any old exfoliated stuff around, and you just kind of go for it. You use smooth strokes, you don't want to cover the same area too many times, and you're going to go against the way that the hair grows. So on this part of your leg, it goes, your hair grows straight down, so you're going to go straight up. It does vary a little bit on your thighs, so just look at which way your hair is going. Secondly, this one is a cream type. I'm using a what's called coochie cream, but there's also a few other kinds that they sell at Target, Walmart, Shopco, like the EOS versions, and those all work as well. Um, they're just more of a lotion type. And finally is the cream to foam formulas, which are probably the most common. And I feel that their largest benefit is that you can always see where you're going. They have added benefits depending on the formulation. They can be extra moisturizing or they can reduce redness. It kind of depends on which kind that you actually choose. The downside to them being that they can be very messy, especially if you are shaving in the tub or if you are shaving in the shower. So that's it. Those are the three versions. And finally, rinse yourself off, spin yourself around, and we're going to moisturize. So you can use something like a coconut oil or another natural oil. Um, if they end up getting into this hard state, you can pop them into the water that should now be draining. Or you 
can use body butter. This one is Moon Over Sedona. It is my ultimate favorite, which has unfortunately been retired. And as this leg was the first I did, it's mostly dry, so I'm just going to massage the moisturizer in and it's done. If you do need to dry, this is another time when you do the blot dry because your skin is probably a little bit irritated. You know, you just scraped it with the razor. And then massage your body butter, your lotion, your coconut oil, your sweet almond oil, whatever it is that you decide to use because that is personal preference. Massage it in and you are ready to go. Now these rules kind of qualify for any type of shaving that you're doing. And that's it. You're done. Go. Be free. Be free and shiny.